Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tyler Lawson. So today we're in some very fun Fridays. You know, Friday is my favorite weekend. So that's the end of the, you know, end of the week, of course. And um, just wanted to say that we got some very, very great news. The Undertaker is in inducted in the Hall of Fame 2022. Oh my goodness. Man, I did not know that The Undertaker can be inducted for a Hall of Fame, which I didn't know because I'm very excited to see The Undertaker because, you know, he's one of my favorite wrestlers for years after years, man. I mean, I know, I know about The Undertaker for quite a long time, man. It had me think about this moment, man, and, um, while I was growing up, um, while I was a kid, I used to watch, uh, WWE, or WWF, <laughs> during the Add to Eros, of course, and it was very amazing how, you know, how this all started, because when I remember, the Undertaker used to scare the hell out of me. When I was a when I was a kid, you know the mis the whole thing was the Ministry of Darkness stuff, and that what got me the most. And you know I, I have to say he he's really he is a very good character and for me of course, and um you know and now he turned into Ameri American badass. During at at 2000, you know, one of my favorite years so far, you know, in 2000. <laughs> I mean, it it was great, man. It was great for that one of uh, how it all started. Well, I believe I believe it's on 1999. Yeah, the moment the first time I uh, when I watched SmackDown, you know. You know, I say The Undertaker, I mean, I, I really miss the old eras, the eras of the, of the old SmackDown during the 1999 and, um, 2000, I think, because it was very amazing how it, how it does that so far. And I have to say, man, it was, it was great of how it all started through. And notice that at 2004, he asked to return as being the dead man, of course. You know, he resurrected once again. You know, so, so everyone about the whole, you know, take his head off and saw the band-aids and stuff. Know that that he was the only reason that he was an American badass, and American badass was dead. Well, not for long. And um, you know, he he still continued to be more as a scary wrestler. You know, um, uh, oh yeah. The Undertaker versus Kane, that was one of the great feuds, you know, brothers and versus brothers. You know, it's one of my favorite was the Brother of Destruction because The Undertaker and Kane, they're more scary than, you know, trying to, you know, trying to beat somebody up during that, during the night, night of Destruction that you asked, that you asked me about the night of Destruction. And I, I have to say, man, first first we got King in the Hall of Fame, and now we got The Undertaker at the Hall of Fame, which is very great, because I know, I know about The Undertaker for a long, long time, and he's part of my favorite childhood, and I've been seeing The Undertaker do all these moves, man. The, the choke slam, the last ride, the hell's gate, and the tombstone power driver. Man, I just, man, that's, 
that's how I wanted to become a wrestler because if I want to be part of the next scary wrestlers like The Undertaker, Kane, The Boogeyman, probably Bray Wyatt of course, um, The Bruce I believe, well they are actually a vampire that's how it is, and I don't know. I don't know what scary wrestler on Japanese wrestling. Oh, the Great Muta. The Great Muta. I I think so. Cause um, I have to say, man, that's the only part of my gimmick that what I had was Insanity Jack, Suicide Jack, Tyler Jack, of course, <laughs> my first name, and um, and the only reason why. Oh 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 oh, and Mankind as well. I totally forgot. Cause um. It was a great, it was a great feud for the the Undertaker versus the Mankind, cause you know Paul, Paul Bear, R.P. the Paul Bear, um, Paul Bear turn 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 against the Undertaker, and gave the uh the the urn from Mankind, which you don't know, um, the Undertaker versus Mankind, the Border Room Brawl. And it was one of the great matches so far. Well, almost, because it seemed like a whole thing like a brawl, I think. And it was a, it was a great feel, I'm not going to lie. That's the only thing I wanted to be as more as, you know, Sandy Jack, of course. I mean, if that could happen, it will be so cool. Because I just hope I want to be more as a scary wrestler. Because... If that would happen, that would be so cool. And just to prove, just to prove y'all that I'm not a fake or a fluke or anything like that, it's just so hard for me to like explain about the whole thing, cause yeah. But um, but yeah, that's how. That's what the news is about because The Undertaker is going to be at the Hall of Fame. And I'm probably going to watch that one for less because I don't even care about the others. Unless it's more important. So, yeah. But, um, that's all the news for today. I'll probably gonna do more in the next time. So, <laughs> yeah. But, um, uh, but yeah, man. Um,. I'll probably gonna do the reaction videos. I know I haven't done any games, but maybe next time I'll do some gaming next week. Perhaps. Maybe so. Cause, um. We got some uh, new stuff that will be coming up sooner or later. So, yeah, but, um. Yeah, so that's all I had to say. But we're gonna get right to the reaction videos. Oh, and comment down below. What is your favorite? Favorite Undertaker um, moments of throughout the years. <laughs> so yeah, just comment down below what's your favorite Undertaker moment, and um, I'll see y'all in the. Oh, by the way, <laughs> what's your favorite Undertaker few? I totally forgot. <laughs> but um, but yeah, man. Um, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next reaction. I'll, I'll see how they react to the video, goddamn.